welcome to CKRC. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. CKRC. Um, the RC is what you're here for, the CK is what you have to deal with. Um, that's me, CK, my initials. So that's where that comes from. So we're back with the Team Associated CR24. Nope, CR28. CR24 is a different vehicle from a different brand, and I'll be doing a video on that at some time um, very soon as well, if it hasn't already released. Anyway, so Team Associated CR28. Um, what I want to do with this before we get into the performance tests, um, I want to show you guys just how small this thing is. So um, a lot of times I compare things to the deadbolt because that really is just the gold standard of um, mini crawlers, especially stock out of the box. Uh, it's hard to beat a deadbolt. So with this tiny little guy, these tiny little wheels, I want to show you what a stock deadbolt wheel and tire looks like in comparison to this 28 scale. Um, I know they call it a crawler. I really struggle to call it that. It's two wheel drive. This truck. I'm just going to call it a truck. So, if we hold up this deadbolt tire right here next to. Holy moly. Look at that. Holy mackerel. Mother of pearl. You know what I mean? Look at the size difference on that. Can you imagine? The bad news about this CR28 is these wheels are pressed on to the axles. Uh, so good luck getting those off uh, without breaking something. Um, I'm sure you probably can. I'm sure there's plenty of people who have. I would be the one that breaks it, and then there goes my truck. But can you imagine if I could pull that thing off and I could get these things on there? Oh, good golly, Miss Molly. Look at that. I'd have to make some serious adjustments to the body, um, which I could. You know, there's some, there's a little bit of space in here to work with the body mounts, raise that up a little bit. Probably have to cut away some of these fenders because, goodness gracious, I mean, that would just eat that fender well alive. Um, but, man, look how much bigger that is. Not that it's really going to make this thing any more capable, um, but I think it would make it look really cool. So, can't do that. At least not right now. Maybe down the road, we'll see. Once I've driven it and tested it and played with it enough and gotten my money's worth out of it, I don't mind potentially breaking it, then maybe we'll see what happens. So, um, I'm going to stick with the low profile. Um, mogul obstacle here. I'm not even going to try the, the big bridge that is my go-to obstacle for testing because, uh, come on, no, um, that's asinine. We're not going to do that. So let me go ahead and get some power going here. Um, get the transmitter turned on. We don't want the truck running away from us if we turn it on and catch some interference. All right. And so with that, before I start hitting some obstacles, let's just see. Ooh, that receiver is noisy. The crawl speed isn't too bad. It picks up speed pretty quick though. It's hard to, to keep a steady, slow speed. Um, and when you turn, you got to get on the throttle because it seems to be binding up pretty good to where it doesn't want to go while I'm turning full lock. So, whatever. That happens, I guess. Ooh, man, I don't know if, if the microphone's picking up that receiver, but that is noisy. Um, so, you can see that the steering is proportional. So. I guess when I was railing on it being a toy before, it is, um, it at least has 
some hobby features as far as proportional steering, 2.4 gig transformer, transformer, transmitter. Um, but let's be serious, even toys have 2.4 gig transmitters at this point. Um, the modulation on the acceleration, I'm getting some body rub just, wait, am I getting body rub? Yeah. Uh, the modulation on the acceleration, um, kind of, yeah, it's hard to keep at a steady speed. It just kind of tends to, to pick up and then there's full speed. A little bit of, a little bit of RPMs there for for such a small little guy. So what we're going to do is we are going to see if we can test it over this little obstacle here and see what happens. I'm going to try to hold it so that way the truck doesn't just push it across the table. All right, so here we go on three, two, one, go. I'm going to try to go slow like a crawler and. Nothing. So I'm going to give it some more gas and let's see what happens. All right. Whoa. Was there some brake in there at the end? It does have brakes. Oh, reverse. What just happened there? Okay. So it does have forward, brake, and reverse. Uh, it actually surprises me a little bit for such a simple little little rig. Um, okay, so it managed to get it under under a good amount of throttle. So I'm going to try one more thing. Because when in doubt, throttle it out. You know what I mean? I'm going to send it. I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to just ramp this thing. Not that I think it's going to go flying by any means, but eh, just for fun. Let's see. Here we go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good. I like that a lot. All right. You know what? I am going to move on to one more obstacle. Oh, this is probably asking a lot, but here's some sections of tree that I glued together. Um, it's pretty lame as an obstacle for the 24 scales, um, but for the 28 scale, it's probably going to be a bit of a challenge. So let's see what happens. I'm going to come up here and see nothing. All right. Well, let's hit it with some speed then. Hey, it almost started to do something, and it is just... I'm not getting anything in reverse. I started to get a little bit of something there. Well, reverse, no bueno. It's Spanish for bad, I think. I'm not bilingual, but I think it's not good. And I'm telling you, the reverse, it's not good. Got a little bit of pep and drive, but seriously, I'm in reverse right now, and it's, I mean, it's not even, I'm not steering, it's just reverse, and just no thanks. The truck is not interested in backing up. Really? Wow, that is, oh, it is really catching on the, the body. Wow. Okay. I might need to raise that body post up anyway just to get a little bit more clearance because that seems to be binding it up pretty good. All right, well, that is good to know. Um, and that means that my next test is not going to go well at all because I was thinking with this being two-wheel drive, it's not front-wheel drive, I can tell you that. Um, I've also shown you that, rear-wheel drive. I was going to try to reverse this to see if maybe the drive wheels would make it a little more capable. Um, but knowing how ineffective the reverse is, I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Listen, things weren't going that well anyway. It's fine. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn this off.
Hopefully the truck doesn't start doing anything crazy, but who knows? We'll see. Anyway, listen, this thing is fun. It's really simple. It is a toy team associated. I'm sorry to tell you. Um, I'm not falling for it. Um, your claim that it's not a toy, that's false. It is. Uh, but you know what? It's a toy that I'm really happy with. Uh, and that's what matters, right? This is this is a, a truck for me, for my collection. Um, and I like it. So that is, that's what it comes down to, right? So I think it's going to look good on the shelf with the rest of my trucks. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and I'm looking forward to just tinkering a little bit going to be very minor tinkering like i said i'll probably just you know do um like a front suspension install uh just to to help it out a little bit uh that's really going to be about it other than that it's just going to be for tooling around um you know and, and i'll probably drive it more like a short course truck and make some little jumps for it uh, because obviously it's not a crawler um but if i can get some speed kind of get a, a little straight away with that thing get it off the workbench hit a jump. I have a feeling it'd be really fun to just ramp off stuff. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, so there's the team associated CR 28, um, it's performance. Um, not good as a hobby truck, fun as a toy. Uh, and the, the price point is, is pretty top notch. You can get them for 50 to $60, uh, depending on if you can get them on a deal or not. Um, but worth it. It's fun. Um, and you know, it's, it's half the price of, you know, the, the other micro crawlers. So worth it. Um, I recommend it. It's fun, but know what you're getting and know that it's going to be very limited with what you're able to do with it. So hope you enjoyed it today. Um, I, I'm having fun checking out these different trucks and, and especially, you know, I'm, I've been on a, a binge with the micro crawlers and really the budget ones. Um, so I've got some other trucks coming up to, to share with you that, are all um, on the lower the lower end of the price point, kind of the the entry level uh, crawlers, micro crawlers, and so you know look forward to those. And I'll see you guys next time. Um, hit the subscribe, hit the like, leave me a comment, all that good stuff. See ya.